Hey guys, Paul here. Let's take a look at the Uno R3 microprocessor development board to understand its individual components. We've got a reset switch here, a 7 volt input jack, which gets regulated down to 3.3 or 5 volts with the voltage regulator right here. We've got a USB serial chip, the CH340G chip. We've got a 500 milliamp polyfuse right here, which is a polymer material fuse. If the Arduino tries to pull more than 500 milliamps, that fuse is going to blow. And when it cools back down, that polymer material essentially resets the fuse. We've got a 12 megahertz oscillator crystal here for the micro USB input. We've also got a 16 megahertz oscillator crystal here, which is the timer for the AT Mega 328P microcontroller chip right here in the middle. Now this Atmel AT Mega 328P is the brain behind the Arduino. We've got a couple 25 volt surface mount capacitors. The M7 rectifier diode here on the bottom of your screen is for polarity protection in case we inadvertently plug our 5 volt pin into ground and vice versa. This chip right here is the LM358 Texas Instruments operational amplifier or op amp which boosts voltage for pulse width modulation signals. These inputs here are the ISCP or in-circuit serial programming which is used to access the hex file by which the Arduino runs. Think of it, think of the ISCP as the BIOS or basic in and out system on your PC. The Uno R3 has tons of analog and digital inputs as well as 5 and 3 volt, 3.3 volt inputs, ground just tons of versatility there. I recently did a video on this radio uh, receiver and your data um, lead right there. In a previous video I was plugging that into analog A0 to get the analog signal from the radio receiver. Now the code or sketches that you download to your Arduino, the software programs, interface with the digital pins. For example, this temperature humidity sensor, you see the out there, that's the data pin for that, and that's an orange color. For this particular sketch, that corresponds to digital pin 2. So, and, and those are mapped out in the code or sketches of your Arduino. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel and have a great day.